Alright guys, so here we are finally for F1 2015 career mode season 3. As you guys know, I've been hinting around the last few videos of the last couple weeks. I've been hinting at doing a pro season and today it's finally going to happen. So without further ado, it's time for F1 2015 pro season mode. To be a Formula 1 driver takes dedication, skill and ultimately speed. In pro season, you'll need all three, as well as a slice of luck. This is for the players who don't want compromises, who wants the ultimate driving challenge. To give you a real racing experience, you'll be driving in cockpit camera mode. The on-screen display has been removed, so you'll be relying on your race engineer for essential information. Finally, it wouldn't be pro without the full race distance. With the other drivers at their highest difficulty, you'll need to give everything you've got to make an impression. Welcome to Pro Season. So here we are for Pro Season mode. As I was hinting at before, I wanted to go with a team that was, you know, fairly high up and one that we'd get, uh, you know, decent amount of battles with and stuff. Uh, I know that Mana was the top voted team in the Season 3 vote, but don't worry, there is something coming very soon that is going to uh, satisfy you guys who want to see me drive in the slowest car possible. So don't worry, that is coming very soon. But in terms of this season, for Pro Season Mode, it's going to be incredibly difficult. And I had to go for a team that was at least semi-competitive to give me uh, a bit more of a cushion to... Um, you know, still make it interesting. So, we're going to go with a faster team than Toro Rosso, the team we drive, drove for in Season 2. So, for this season, it's going to be Red Bull Racing, and the driver is going to be Daniel Kvyat. So, the reason why I've gone with Daniel Kvyat as my driver for this season is because I wanted to have a competitive teammate, and Daniel Ricciardo, every single time, in no matter what session it is, he always seems to be the faster driver. So, I wanted to have him on my side going into this season, so hopefully we can challenge for the constructors. Possibly, that's how you know much I want to be competitive this season. Hopefully, go for the drivers and the constructors. So here we go. We're going to be pretending to be ourselves. So we're just going to ignore the fact that our name is Daniel Kvyat. It's going to be an all Australian lineup here at Red Bull Racing for season three of F1 2013 Career Mode. It's time for the first race in Melbourne. Round one of the Formula oh. 1 season begins today with practice here in a wet Melbourne. The teams will put behind them the issues from pre-season testing. What matters now is what the teams do this weekend. So here we are for practice one. And as you can see, it's raining. We've got all three practice sessions to run with uh, this weekend. This is actually the first time I've had all three, a full race weekend since like F1 2012, F1 2011. It's been that long. But uh, we're definitely not going to run through the entirety of this session or the next session. I think we're going to do a little bit of running, get used to the car a little bit, get used to cockpit cam and everything. And then we'll go straight into qualifying because we have a three-part qualifying session to contend with. A 100% race as well, all in this episode. So it's going to be a long old video, this one. Leave a like if you're excited for this episode. If we could smash maybe two or 3,000 likes, that would be incredible for this first season of pro season otherwise known as Season 3 of Career Mode. In terms of the setup, we're going to run with a fairly familiar setup that we've ran in previous seasons. 4-1 uh, wings might lower that down to 3-1, especially if it's in the dry. Nothing else is really going to change apart from the camber and the toe, which is going to be a little bit more aggressive this year, trying to maximize you know, how much speed we can take through the corners. I'm not too sure how our straight line speed is going to be this season as well. It may be pretty similar to what we saw in the Tour Rosso, but we'll have to wait and see with that one. Hopefully, being with the the big brother teams of Tour Rosso, we should be a little bit better, a little bit more slippery in a straight line. Of course, the Red Bull does uh, have very efficient aero, so hopefully we'll be creating less drag on the straight. So, so let's go out and practice, do a few laps, and see how the car feels. Oh wow, we've run out of fuel. Okay. So, <laughs> only two laps worth of... Uh, running there on the intermediate tyres and we've got P5 for practice one. Welcome to Melbourne where qualifying for the Australian Grand Prix should be getting underway shortly. So this is going to be the first qualifying one session I've done 
on F1 2015. We're in the Red Bull, so it shouldn't be too hard to get out of Q1. We're going to go out on a set of primes, do one lap, and hopefully that's enough. Not a great day at the office for Jensen Button. He's been unable to make it into qualifying too. He's going to find it difficult now to score points tomorrow. Uh, the story of Q1 is all about Jensen Button then not making it into Q2. But to be honest, that's not much of a it's not much of a headline, is it, for the Australian Grand Prix for a McLaren Honda. For us though, it's P5. We've uh, just out qualified uh, Daniel Ricciardo. We are on the prime tyres, of course, so that is fairly encouraging. They were only eight tenths away from Lewis Hamilton's time, and we only did one lap. So we could well be a contender this season. I'm not going to say too much too early because I don't really know where we stand in the order at the moment. So it's looking good so far in Q1. Now it's time to head for Q2 and that crucial Q3 session. Are you serious? Are you serious, Codemasters? Two dry sessions, Q1 and Q2. Session... Qualifying three starts five minutes later, and it's heavy rain. The driver looks happy. I think that's P6 in qualifying, is it? Yes, it is. So it's P6 for the Australian Grand Prix, our first race of this season. Lewis Hamilton down in ninth place, so I think the, the track actually got slower as the session went on. We got our time in early, and we ended up in P6. Out qualified by our teammate Daniel Ricciardo for this first race. His home race, my home race as well, being an Australian too. Nico Rosberg starts from pole. Sebastian Vettel home in P2 there. And Raikkonen in third. So, first race of pro season mode. My first race of this season. And it's a home race for me as well. What else is there to say? But it's time for the Australian Grand Prix. The first race of pro season mode. The crowd are here and they're here in numbers for the first race of the season. Welcome to the Australian Grand Prix. So here we are guys, ready for the start of this season, starting from P6, as I said before. Nico Rosberg is looking good at the moment, starting from P1, with Lewis Hamilton down in ninth place. It looks like he will be in the box seat to win this race, that's Nico Rosberg, of course. So the race strategy today is a three-stop option, option, prime. Uh, will we switch to primes in the middle stint? We'll have to wait and see. I'm not too sure how the tyre wear is going to be in this Red Bull uh, car. I don't know if I've done 100% race on this game or not, but it's going to be the first time we've done that. No no HUD, driving from cockpit cam, and um, just all the assists have been taken away for this season. It's not like I ran assists anyway, so it shouldn't be too much of a challenge, but the fact that we don't have as much information to use to get us through the race, that might, might prove difficult in terms of the fuel and what have you. So here we go. Ready for the start of this season. There is no restarts, no rewinds, no nothing. We are completely on our own here for the Australian Grand Prix. And away we go for our first race of pro season mode. It looks like a pretty average start. Into turn one, we're getting swamped by everyone. Up the inside, there's a bit of contact with the Lotus there on the out. Are you serious? Let's have a look at this on the replay. You can see we got off to a pretty average start. We got swamped by cars all around us. We pause it here. We're going up the inside of Grosjean and we're getting held up behind the Williams. Now, here comes Grosjean. He just completely turns into us and sends us into the wall. Unbelievable. Unbel our, our race, our first race of the season ends up to the first corner. Can you... Can you believe that? I, I honestly can't believe that. No, I'm so done. And that's a win for Nico Rosberg at the <laughs> Fuck <Grand> off! <laughs> this game is so bad. Honestly. Result for Nico. After all this drama, you'd be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. <laughs> I'd be mad to sign up to do any more races after that, but it looks like we actually do have a restart button. And you know what, guys? I'm going to use it. Because that was just bullcrap. We just got turned in by Grosjean, I think it was. Some people here finishing two minutes off the pace and they're still in the points. Four minutes. Whatever, okay. So they didn't get a lap down, they finished four minutes down. Okay, enough rambling. We'll restart this race and we'll pretend that nothing ever happened. Here we go, guys. First race of the season. This is definitely take one. Five red lights. And away we go. For season 3 of career mode, another average start. 
Hopefully this time Grosjean doesn't kill us into the first corner. Let's go. Up the inside of one of the Force Indias. Getting a bit ballsy there with our teammate. And into P7 we go. This is going to be very hard to, to judge, you know, who's in front of us, what position we're in, all that kind of thing, because we don't have any HUD anymore. So I think we moved up into P6 now. No, we haven't. Hulkenberg is still on our inside there. Around the outside for turn four. Job done. I was actually really surprised to see that there was a restart button. I was not expecting that at all. But, you know, being the first race, I really wanted to give you guys a race and give you guys an ent entertaining video. So I didn't want to just end it after one corner of a Grand Prix. That just wouldn't be fair to you guys. So... We'll see, we'll see what happens. If this happens in uh, future episodes, then maybe then. We'll just count it as a DNF, because for this first one, I really wanted it to be uh, a good video. All over the back of our teammate here, up the inside into turn three. Teammate battles and the rivalry is already starting here in Red Bull. The battle to be number one Australian driver. Around the outside through turn four. Ricardo is still there. We've got to leave him some space. And I think we've got him. Yes, we have. Into P5. Let's get an update on the fuel from the engineer. We'll see how we're going. We are so in the dark in this race. It's ridiculous. I didn't even know what lap we're on. <laughs> it, it's definitely under the first five laps. And the fact that I've already lost counts is um, pretty embarrassing. Also, one thing we're going to have to watch out for is, um, now that we don't know a lap we're on, we don't know, you know, when the, the fuel, not the, not the fuel, the, the tyre stint is coming to an end and, you know, whether we can adapt to different strategies or not because we just don't know where we are in the race. So that's, that's something we're going to have to um, get used to. We're going to have to put, place uh, full trust on the engineer and, and just hope that he's put us on the right strategy. But, yeah, very interesting, very different is um, pro season when you've got all the assists and all the, the telemetry taken away. Oh, 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 wow. Okay, that was a dive bomb. That was definitely a dive bomb on Vettel. And now we're into P4. Another little thing that's a bit annoying in this race is I don't know how fast I'm going and I don't know how fast everyone else is as well. No telemetry on the lap times and yeah I just I don't know where everyone else is on the mini map or how far away. All I know is is I'm catching the cars in front including Bottas who we're about to go up the inside of. No not quite. So it, the majority of this season is us going to be it, it's like such a focus on just yourself and just going as fast as you can. You're not, there's no other dis distractions like um, sector times, lap times, other cars around you, what they're doing and stuff. It's really just down to yourself and that's um, something very different, something you're not used to. But nice exit out of the first corner, DRS again on this second straight and we're going to go up the inside into turn three inside front lockup we've overshot the corner Bottas goes back around the outside and back into P3 oh so close to Bottas I don't don't even know how close that was but we got the inside into the penultimate corner I think Bottas might have DRS it's side by side now through the final corner we have DRS and now we're into the podium positions Next up is one of the Mercedes, I think. Yeah, Hamilton's down the order. Fucking hell. 49 laps to go. It is lap 6 then. And Raikkonen is 9 seconds up the road. That is quite a gap. The Ferraris are fast. Interesting. Light rain scheduled in 15 minutes time, so uh, we're due to come in around this time anyway. Uh, uh, we've moved into the lead because everyone else has stopped, but 
by coming in, we're going to put on a set of option tyres and that should see us through until the rain comes at least. Into the pits now for our very first stop. Hopefully the Red Bull guys can look after me here with a good stop. 2.5 seconds. Good stop, boys. We should remain in P3. Back on the track and it looks like it's P4 for the moment. Not too sure if we've actually lost a position or whether someone hasn't stopped yet, but we do rejoin right in front of Vettel, who we were battling before the first pit stop. Oh, here goes Vettel, up the inside into turn one. He didn't realise he was so quick after this first round of pit stops. He's definitely found some pace, maybe burning a little bit more fuel in this stint. Nope, that's not where you want. Putting it up in a rich fuel mixture. We can see a lap car. That's a manner. He's made contact with Vettel. Oh no. Lap cars once again getting in the way. Let's have a look at that on the replay from uh, Vettel's point of view if we can. Let's hide that away. And we'll see just what happens to Vettel here. The manner goes completely wide. Tries to get out of the way. He goes on the grass and then tangles with Vettel. But luckily for Vettel, I don't think he's got any damage there. So he's going to continue on. What the fuck? What was that? What the hell was that? Have I been teleported to another dimension? What was that? Thanks, Codemasters. I've lost the position. Oh, Vettel's gone. He's made contact with, uh, I think that was Hulkenberg. Or one of the four Indies, at least. And now the rain's coming down. This is just one lap after I got that glitch, so I've got my position back. Oh, okay. Very, very slippery on this lap. I think we're going to have to come into the pits at the end of this one. And, uh, yeah. Time for a set of inters. Oh, oh, we've been touched by Verstappen. Cheers, buddy. I'll tell you what, driving in cockpit cam, it's really hard to tell how, how heavy it's raining. You don't get the same effects on the screen, but onto a set of inters now. Another decent stop. I think we're going to lose a few positions here, especially to Bottas and Vettel. Oh, we got a touch. We got a touch from Vettel there. And the battle resumes. Oh, he's going around the outside through turn three. What are you doing, son? A simple move up the inside would have been enough. You gave me the inside for turn three. And we're back in to P3. Oh, cheeky battle with Vettel here. I'm loving it. And now literally only a lap or two after putting on the Inters. I think it's time for a set of wets now. I can see someone behind me has followed... That's my teammate. That's Daniel Ricciardo. So the two Red Bulls are now going to double stack here in the pit lane. Yep, there's, there's Ricardo blocking the pits. And he doesn't hold up Hulkenberg, I think that is. No, he doesn't. That is uh, Sebastian Vettel right in front of me. After he got in front of me, he started to pull away. So it looks like we're not quite as quick in the rain, which is a little bit disappointing. <laughs> These are such terrible conditions. It's, it's so bad. <laughs> there's no grip at all. I'm in cockpit cam. There's no one around me. It's such a depressing race right now. It's it's unreal. About 20 minutes of uh, heavy rain for the moment. I'm just trying to grind through this at the moment and hopefully it gets dry again and then we can show off some of our pace because at the moment, this Red Bull is not a wet weather car. Ah, lockups. Again, into turn three. Yellow flag, someone going slowly. Is that for position? Of course not. It's a McLaren Honda. There's a manner going, oh, oh, okay. I'm not sure what happened there. There was a, there was a manner going slowly and then one of the Williams uh, went very slowly to avoid and we've gained a position out of that. So now we're into P2. So I wonder if one of the leaders collided with the manner, made them lose their wing and now they've retired. I'm not too sure. Oh, there's... Another car. There was another car off the track. And now this car's going slowly. 
Four Cindy's have been in the wars all day today. Oh, there's contact. We've been tagged by Bottas. Ah. Lovely. What? And now I've been given a five second penalty. This is right after we got tagged by Bottas. We've not overtaken anyone since then. I don't understand. That... A serious game. That's probably going to take us out of a, a podium contending position. As now a Mercedes is all over the back of me here. I think that's, that's Rosberg. Is he leading the race? No, Raikkonen's leading the race. We've now dropped down to P3. And Bottas is right behind us. So the five second penalty. It's going to knock us out of the podium. Ah, uh, lock up. Lock up. That's going to... Yep, there goes Bottas. And we've lost another place. The wet tyres are starting to die down a little bit now. The, the track is getting drier and I think a switch to intermediate tyres is only a few minutes away. <laughs> Here we go, into the pits. It's almost side by side with Bottas there because he was going so slowly. But now, uh, as we said, we were about to come in for a set of inters. It was at the end of that lap that we're coming in now for our final stop of the race. There's only about eight laps left to go or something like that. We're in a very tense battle now with Rosberg and Bottas, who we've jumped in the pits. So that's a good stop there from Red Bull. DRS enabled now, so we can think about a set of option tyres, possibly next lap or this lap. I don't know. Very, very soon. There's only six laps left to go in the Grand Prix now. And we need to beat the car behind us by five seconds. So I'm thinking if we switch early, we can make up even more time. And um, maybe just finish on the podium. Into the pits now. And it looks like the AI have made the same call as me. So we've made the, the perfect call now. There was just a dry line starting to appear uh, on the track in the last minute or so. So now onto a set of option tyres. We'll check the fast lane. And there are a few cars coming, but they don't hold us up. 2.6 seconds stop. Back into P3. Five laps left to go. Another yellow flag. And a Toro Rosso in the wall that time. Yellow flags again. That's why a Mana has got a puncture. And they're going to retire. Bit of debris there. What's that for? Is that a Mercedes? That's one of the Mercedes. Is it Rosberg? We've moved into P2. He's lost his front wing. Oh, and there's a Ferrari. Oh, it's the leader! Oh my god, we're taking the lead with just two corners to go. No way, the two leaders have collided. And out of nowhere, we're going to win the Australian Grand Prix on the final lap in pro season mode. Get in! What? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The two leaders. Oh. N it was the penalty, wasn't it? We had a five second penalty. For ignoring yellow flags. For a car that we did not even overtake. That has robbed us of a win. Of the Australian Grand Prix. I'm, I don't know what to say, I'm fuming. At the same time, that was incredibly lucky that the two leaders have crashed on the final lap. That was incredible. That's been this first race of pro season mode, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed that. Look at the penalties right across the board. Eight seconds for us. So maybe there was a, maybe there was a corner cutting penalty that we didn't know about. And that's cost us. That has absolutely cost us the win here in Australia. So it's third place, 15 points on the board, but that's been this first race of pro season mode, guys. Smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. Let's see if we can get it to like 3,000 likes, something like that. That race was just, oh, it was something else. That went on for like an hour and a half. It was absolutely ridiculous. It just took so much out of me, that race. No assists, uh, no telemetry, cockpit cam, uh, heavy rain, just this game threw everything at us with uh, glitches and and the racing and everything and what have you, but it didn't go our way. 
thanks to the penalties. That's been this first episode for today. I don't know what else to say. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, driver standings, it's pretty much as they finished uh, in the race there. We've got an achievement, hard times. Is that for... Yep, there we go. We've completed a race in pro season mode. So it is legit. I'm not faking this in any way. Constructors, Red Bull is in fourth place. So there we go, guys. I've got nothing left to give. That race absolutely took everything out of me, uh, both physically and my voice is gone too. So that's going to do it for today. This series is going to be like a weekly thing, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, smash the like button if you enjoyed. And until my next video, guys, I'll see you next time.